great morning to you. Great morning to you. I am Shadidi Laser. Life is good. Life is good. So, I'm going to start this morning off with the importance of the morning routine. And I'm going to share with you my daily gratitude worksheet process, which has been responsible for quite a bit in my life, quite a bit. And I walk through some of the reasons why and share my answers. Within the uh, description for this video, you have the questions that I'm going to answer, but I'm also going to share with you why those questions are important. With the daily gratitude worksheet process, So with the daily gratitude worksheet process, it, it did not come from a area of sunshine and rainbows, ladies and gentlemen. At one point in my life, years ago, I was going through such a tough time that it just felt like a, a country music song where my dog ran away and my, my house fell over and a, a tornado blew away my grandpa. It's just like everything was going bad. So things were so overwhelming. I just wake up with this, this with, which what felt like a cloud over me and just raining on me all the time, all the time, all the time. So as a result, I literally had to write down something positive. Just It just was too much. So... I started with reasons that I was grateful. Now, this didn't start out, I guess, a, a, a pretty uh, template now, nice colors and things like that, but it actually started out on a napkin. I was in like a Dunkin' Donut somewhere, and I started by writing on a napkin, just reasons I was grateful. And I found that, you know, in my tears and in my despair and in, in my darkest days years ago, that writing down the reasons why I was grateful during that period counter counteracted or, or was a deterrent against those negative thoughts. And what I, I later went on to study is that is it is it impossible to feel bad about yourself or feel less than or put yourself in a position where you, you just feel down about yourself if you're grateful about things. So that's important. So with the reasons that I am grateful today, what I want you to do is think about the things that are going on in your life. Good, bad, ugly, negative situations that you don't control. Maybe someone else is just that you have to work with or raise children with or related to or live with or sleep next to is in a, a place where they are holding the anger, but you must work with them. You don't understand why this is happening. Keep in mind that you have the ability to think about it. So your, your mind's functioning. You have the ability to read the negativity. So you have the gift of sight. Maybe you can hear the negativity, so you have the ability to hear. And sometimes when things, the tide is just going against you, and it's just like you're just getting avalanched by negativity, the ability to think about the gift of life is exactly what you need to get through that storm. So on, on many days, I simply give thanks for the gift of life. I'm thankful I woke up today. I'm thankful that I can see. I'm thankful that I can walk. And that's important. So for looking at one of my uh, daily gratitude worksheets, so I'll give you some examples. I'm thankful for my ability to learn. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for great friends. I'm thankful for the ability to create my life. I'm thankful for the ability to speak. 
I am thankful for a loving and supportive family that cares about my life. These are the things that I'm I'm grateful for. So what are you what are you grateful for? Like I said, if you're watching this broadcast, you have the ability to see. You you can afford the internet. So there's some prosperity going on there too. So you can be thankful for that no matter what is going on in terms of bills and other responsibilities. You may have a smartphone that allows you to view video. There's many smartphones out there. There's many people who are still using flip phones because it's a necessity. So be thankful for that. Be grateful for that. Next, five reasons I am abundant. Abundance is not only defined or limited to money. And this is very important because in developing an abundance mindset, what I've come to learn over time is that time is the most important factor in abundance and where you spend your time. There's a reason why volunteering is so powerful because in giving your time to another cause or another group that is greater than you, you get to create or lend yourself to something that is greater than you. And that is powerful in itself. So think about where you're spending your time, where you're volunteering, what you are able to afford. Now, let's say you have um, an older car and there's five things wrong with the car. And you went into the mechanics shop and you said, hey, I can't afford all those things. Let me just take care of this one thing today and your car may be rickety and it's shaking and it starts and stops sometimes, but you had the ability to cover that one bill. If you're sitting in your apartment or your home and the lights are on, you have hot water, that means somehow, some way that you have the ability to finance that and afford that. And that is a form of abundance as well. So it's all about counting what's working for you to give you the momentum in order to have other things work for you. I'm very big on momentum. So I'll give you a few reasons I'm abundant today. Uh, I gave 50 minutes of value to a fellow colleague and business partner. It was a great exchange of information and I I felt valuable in that I was able to give this uh, talented man some resources that would help him fulfill his mission. Also, I volunteered for an organization that uh, helps uh, homeless people. Very happy about that. I handled all financial commitments easily and effectively. Another form of abundance, I gave public acknowledgement to an individual who was very influential in my growth and development. Again, Being able to give of yourself and say congratulations or I respect you are forms of abundance. Five people I would discuss my idea with. This is very important because in developing your mission and developing your passion and your purpose, you have to get into the habit of communicating with others. Now, I started this out years ago with five people I would discuss my idea with. So, hello, I'm Shadi. This is my passion in discussing. But as I started to have these discussions and more and more people would that would communicate with, they would have their mission too. So, you can also use active listening to contribute to someone else's mission. So, you can say... I was thinking about you today. How can I serve and support your greater mission? What is your mission and how I can serve and support you? So that's important as well as give and take nowadays. At first, it was all about sharing my mission, which is important. It is valuable to articulate your mission because the people you converse with will add details to your mission. And that's so powerful. So Today, I'm going to talk to uh, and discuss my ideas with Genesis, the world famous graphic designer. I will most likely be in touch with Dave Anderson today. 
uh, about some things regarding the uh, conference he just hosted. Great event over the weekend. Uh, my brother Aaron, who is giving me great advice in terms of mindset and in business, and he is a high performance coach that is uh, is in the works. I will probably talk with or communicate with uh, Mark Clark and follow up with him. I will probably communicate with uh, Adam Jones. He has some interesting things that he he shared with me over the weekend that I did not get to. So as a result, I was on the road and I will follow up with him as well. I also have uh, two sponsors to follow up with. So we're going to discuss ideas and how I can serve them and make sure that their experience is as valuable as possible. I have a um, radio gig coming up. So I'm going to discuss with the uh, program director in terms of how we can make this experience and this partnership as powerful as possible. So have to um, talk to the good folks down in Lanham. So the power of this particular section is being intentional. So I'm going to speak with these people uh, that I've just listed, but in my day-to-day -day travel, so if I go to the supermarket, I'm out of almond milk for my coffee, so I need to go to the supermarket. When I go to the supermarket, for example, I'm also making sure that I'm in the moment. So I'm saying good morning. I'm greeting people. If someone is shopping for avocados and I love avocados, I may ask them a question about how do you prepare your avocados? And just being in the moment and discussing and conversing and being connected with society as a whole. And in so many cases, we are nowadays walking around, staring at our phones and looking at the world from the the lens of our cell phones or smartphones to the world. And that is not how I was raised. I was raised in a loving family that ate dinner at the table. To this day, we still do. We communicate. I don't look at my cell phone when I eat with my family. So I try to carry that out into my dealings with people in the world. And finally, five reasons today will be amazing. This sets forth the law of intention, meaning in many cases, if you wake up and you like hit your, your ankle against that sharp corner of the, the bed frame, we all have done that before, and it hurts, it hurts a lot. And when you start off your day with a negative event, in many cases, if you're unaware of this, this law of momentum, it leads to you running late for work or getting in traffic and having negative feelings. So by simply setting the law of intention forward to say, you know what, here's why today will be amazing. Chances are you will set out positive vibes ahead of you so that today will be great for you. So may not be amazing, but the gift of life itself is amazing. So it'll at least be great. So Five reasons why my day will be amazing is that, number one, the weather will be awesome. I love good weather. I, good weather can change my mood overnight. I will be meeting and leading my mastermind group this evening, so I get the opportunity to connect and serve and support. I will be healthier today than I was yesterday because I will be exercising in about 20 minutes. I will be reading a new book, which is working with the law and leading that study group. I will connect with family members and strengthen our relationship. So those are a few reasons why today will be amazing. So, Again, five reasons I am grateful, five reasons I am abundant, five people I will discuss my ideas or pour into their ideas and be the connector towards their best version of themselves, and five reasons today will be amazing. I promise you that if you take the time to write out these answers each morning and review them during the evening, each day, your life will improve. 
your life will, I can tell like the, the clients I work with and I, my friends and colleagues that I share this worksheet with and this process with and the why behind it, I can tell by their conversation how they see the world and things aren't moving as fast. They slow down and say, wait a minute. I'm thankful I'm alive. I'm thankful. There is more gratitude in their conversation. And I love to see that. So if you would like a copy of my daily gratitude worksheet, it's part of a, a, an entire course, but I'll share the gratitude worksheet with you. And the promise is we must communicate once per week on the uh, worksheet itself. That can be through messenger. That can be through phone call. Uh, please message me or in the comments list, I want the worksheet in the comments. I want the worksheet and I will send it to you free of charge. I believe it's a game changer. It has done so much for me to overcome the heartbreaks of ambition and motivation and entrepreneurship throughout the years, helped me become a more sociable individual and be more grateful about the things that are going right within my life. So, and also have better days through the law of intention. So I'm Shadidi Laser, and I've shared with you my daily process for success, which is the daily gratitude worksheet. I hope you have a powerful and productive day and that your thoughts and your actions are in alignment with your definition of greatness. Be positive, be blessed, be great over and out.